kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. wow. A picnic. It was a lovely day, so Mommy and Daddy decided to take cookie, candy, and pudding on a picnic. The kitty cats packed all the important stuff they would need. I'm going to make so many sandcastles. And I'm going to try to pull off some extreme outdoor reading. And I'm going to run around. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. So much yummy stuff to eat. A picnic's just not a picnic without a basket full of yummy. Make sure we didn't forget anything, Cookie. And you candy and pudding. It's picnic time. All right. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. To the picnic we go. And we love picnics so. Oh, we all just can't wait. Golly picnics are great. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's picnic. Holy, where'd our picnic basket go? Well, I don't know. It could still be at home, I guess. Uh. Or it could be that we lost it. Oh, no. Not our basket of yummy. <laughs> Why don't we just take a rocket check back home, grab the yummy basket, and zoom right back? Nice idea, but Cookie Rockets can't land if there's lots of trees around. Ah! Then why don't we just order a pizza, Mom? Oh, Candy, the pizza guy can't deliver a pizza to the address somewhere in the woods, kind of near that pond thing. But I'm sure that your very clever father can come up with something. Uh, hey, a fishing rod. I can catch us something yummy. So we can still have the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> While Mommy and Candy looked for branches and sticks to make a fire, Daddy Cookie and Pudding had a go at fishing. Where are the fish, Daddy? Where? Where? Fishing is all about patience. Oh. Daddy, Cookie, and Pudding were patient, but the forest pond just didn't have any oh. fish in it. We have enough wood for a nice fire. All we caught was a cheeky frog. And even he jumped back in the pond. Uh. What if we all hunt for something to eat over there in the woods? Mom's got the right idea. Daddy, you start the fire while we go look for mushrooms. All right, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess we gotta eat something. Pudding used his fungus guide to check which mushrooms were safe to eat and which were poisonous. Look at all these mushrooms! Let's get these cooking, Daddy. I'm afraid the matches were in the basket with the food. Oh. Well, there is no way that we're eating raw mushrooms. Uh, we could rub sticks together, which is how they made fire in ancient times. That's science. Excellent thinking, Pudding. <laughs> Let's help Daddy. We can blow, too. <sighs> Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we made fire! Our picnic's officially back on the right track. Well, the picnic is grand, though it's not what we planned. Oh, it's fun just the same, and we're real glad we came. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like the mushrooms are almost done. And then for dessert, blueberries, cranberries, and raspberries. It turned out that Mommy had secretly picked a whole bunch of berries in the woods. Amazing! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Against all odds, it turned out to be a great picnic, and the whole family was very happy. Baby Tooth. One day during breakfast, Candy felt something strange. My tooth is wobbling. Good for you. Your teeth are starting to fall out, Candy. What? Mommy, am I going to lose them all? <laughs> Don't worry. You're just oh. losing what are called baby teeth, darling. 
When your baby teeth fall out, different ones begin oh. to grow in. Your permanent teeth, which last forever and ever. Cookie and I went through the same thing when we were little. Then I'll be getting a whole new tooth? Awesome! Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! Candy couldn't wait to show her tooth to her friends. See? Look at it! All right, loose tooth, that's awesome! I did not like it when my baby teeth were coming out one bit. I thought it made me look not so pretty. <laughs> when my teeth came out, I was really hoping I would grow crazy giant fangs in their place. Obviously, it didn't happen. But when you lose a tooth, you can put it underneath your pillow. Then the Tooth Fairy will come and take the tooth and leave a present for you. Awesome! I want a present from the Tooth Fairy. That sounds super great. Is there a way to get my tooth out faster at all? Well, you could just bite an apple. Your tooth will get stuck in it and come right out. But what if I accidentally eat my tooth, though, along with the apple? Ow! <laughs> Huh? Then the Tooth Fairy won't get anything. Just tie a string to your tooth. Then you simply attach the string to the back of a car. And then when it leaves, so will your tooth. Oh! You know what? It'd be even better if you tied it to a plane. But what if the tooth is too tough and it won't come out? <laughs> <laughs> Just go to the dentist if the tooth doesn't come out on its own. I did that one time. It was a dark and spooky dentist's office. And the dentist wore a dark and spooky mask. And plucked and pulled and tugged out my little bitty white baby tooth. Ooh. <laughs> there goes Smudge and his scary stories again. Dentists don't wear masks that are dark and scary. They're actually really friendly and helpful. Dentists are fine, but I still don't want to go to one. I'll just let my tooth fall out all by itself. <laughs> Wait. Okay, lunchtime. Come on then, Candy. Candy hadn't eaten anything all day, and her wobbly tooth still hadn't come out. That's that. I'm calling the dentist right now. I'm sure he'll sort this out in a hurry. Hello? I'd like to make a dentist appointment, please. I don't want to go see the dentist at all. I'm real scared. Don't worry, Candy. We'll come with you. Yeah. All right now, Candy. Let's open wide. Ah. Pop! And there's our little baby tooth. <gasps> Is it done? Yep. And pretty soon you'll have a brand new grown-up tooth. But you must remember, take care of your teeth by brushing and flossing and seeing me. Thank you, sir. Now I can give my tooth to the Tooth Fairy. So awesome. Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow. Huh? One second. Oh. Hmm. Oh. You need to stick around a little while, Daddy. Your teeth need some work. Do you eat a lot of sweets? Uh, well, I, I, I have to for my job at the candy factory. Mm. Everyone needs to take care of their teeth. Watch the sweets. Brush and floss twice a day. And then they're sure to stay healthy and strong. A muddy good time. Cookie, Candy, and Pudding were so happy to discover that the snow had finally melted. We've been waiting for this. And it's finally here. You mean the sunshine? Nah, the new seesaw's here. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Dibs on first try. Yeah. <laughs> no. Watch out, Cookie. The new seesaw was in the middle of a big puddle of sticky, icky mud. Just think how muddy and gross we'll get if we try to walk across that. If Daddy were here, we'd be just fine. He'd pick up the three of us and carry us over there. But Pudding, Daddy can't help us. He's at work now. Oh, huh? Hello? Oh, that's right. I'm at work at the factory. 
Let's use stilts to walk across the mud. <laughs> Do you have any better suggestions, Cookie? Well, we could also sail across the mud on something. <laughs> What'll we do? Hey, I know how we can get across. It isn't deep. Take a look, boys. Some rubber boots are all we need to get across it. Now the kitty cats had smiles on their faces and rubber boots on their feet. But Cupcake and Smudge wanted to get to the new seesaw, too. Come on, Cupcake! Watch out, Smudge! I won't look as beautiful if I'm covered in mud. <gasps> Meow! Yucky mud. Candy, would you like to try it first? Yeah, thanks, Cupcake! Oh, this is gonna be so much fun! Just please make sure you don't splash mud on my boots. <laughs> 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 oh no! There's mud everywhere! It even got on smudge all the way over there! <laughs> don't laugh! Look at my dress! And my shirt! <laughs> hey, Pudding, don't cry! I'll clean it off with puddle water! Unfortunately, adding water just made more mud! Now I'm even dirtier! <laughs> Well, since we're already completely dirty, I say that it's mud angel time, guys! <laughs> Cookie, I'm sorry, but that is just gross. Guys, Mom is gonna be so upset that we got our clothes this dirty. It's not our fault that there's mud. Well, maybe we should wait for the mud to dry before we play outside. How long is that going to take? Uh, I think it should be dried out by summer. Oh, wow. Looks like you had a really good time. We're really sorry that we got all covered in mud. But don't worry. We've decided to stop going outside. At least not until summertime. You're not going outside until summer? <laughs> oh. oh, Mommy. You're just as muddy as us. True. But a little mud never hurt anyone. But isn't your dress ruined now? Not at all. Just a little dirty. But the washing machine will clean it all right up. Hooray! Let's hear it for the wonderful washing machine! <laughs> yes, clothes can be washed, but getting them dirty on purpose isn't great. You could end up sick that way. So we don't have to wait inside till the mud dries? Of course not. Going outside is good for you, even when there's mud. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! That's when Daddy came home. At least they thought it was Daddy under all that mud. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> the car got stuck in the mud, so I had to get out and push. All this mud makes the kitty cats look more like piggy cats. <laughs> the washing machine cleaned their muddy clothes right up. Then they headed back outside for more family fun. And no one minded getting a little bit grubby. A dance competition. One morning, there was something very exciting on the news. It's the day of the big dance competition. Everyone is welcome, and the cat with the best dance moves wins a prize. Oh, I just love dancing. And I love prizes. Let's enter the dance competition. Great idea. We'll all go, and every one of us will dance. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Ha, Mommy and I will dance the tango. <laughs> we took all those lessons after all. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to dance like a ballerina, like a graceful little flower. And I'm going to do a break dance. <laughs> well, I... Uh, uh, guys, I think I don't know how to dance at all. Well, that's all right. You'll have plenty of time to learn before the contest this evening, and your sister and brother can help you along. We'll have you dancing in no time. We'll try something simple first, like a nice waltz. And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, ow! You stepped on my paw. I'm sorry. One, two, three, ow! One, two, three, ow, my paw! One, two, three, one, two, three, ow, ow, ow! Waltzing might be too tricky for you to start with. Let's try to break dance. Now, pudding, after me. <laughs> I 
think I broke something. Does that mean I did it right? Maybe you should try some folk dancing. <laughs> I can't hop around that much. I'm not a frog. Look. Then you can do the robot. There's no hopping involved. There doesn't seem to be much of anything involved. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. That dance is boring. How about the can-can? It's really fun. I'm pretty sure that I can't can't can can. Sorry, I was just trying to help. Well, my lovely kittens, how's it going? It turns out that I can't dance, so I can't go to the competition. Well, if Pudding can't go, then I'm not going either. Well, then your father and I will also stay home. Oh, uh, we will? Oh, all right. All of this is my fault. <laughs> I have a super great idea. What we need to do is a family dance with our very own special move. One that we know we can all do. Even, Even pudding, pudding too? too? Of course, pudding will have the most important part of all. That evening at the Grand Theater, the competition began. Lots of cats entered. Uh. Hmm. I think I'm a little nervous. Oh, hey there. Don't be. We're not nervous, am I right? No, uh, guys? No, no, right? Nervous. no need to be nervous, my See? love. We're cool. Pudding, look. You have got this. You were born to do this dance. Breathtaking. And finally, we have the thrilling dance group, Two Cats and Their Kitty Cats. <laughs> doing that for weeks. Meanwhile, meanwhile, <laughs> and here's Pudding, the dancer that started it all. <laughs> the final scores are in, and of course, the Kitty Cat family wins. Oh, awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Always lovely to celebrate a victory, but it's even better when you share it with the whole family. The goldfish. The Kitty Cats have been asking their parents for a pet. You can open up your eyes now. Oh, wow! It's, it's a, a goldfish! She's easy to look after. Just feed her and make sure she has clean water. I think that you'll manage. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> <laughs> we need to make certain we take proper care of the fish. We need to feed her. Let's give her a lovely piece of bread. Nah, hmm? that's not really taking care of her. We need to feed her something that's really yummy. The kittens brought the goldfish a piece of Daddy's cake. Here, fishy. Hope you like it. No, uh -huh. wait. Uh -huh. You can't put whatever you want into the aquarium. This is her special food. Fish really don't eat much. She just needs a little pinch of fish food. <laughs> I could stand here and look at her for hours and hours and hours. It's nice out. How about taking a break from the fish and playing outside for a while? Can we take the fish out with us? Sure you can, but you need to be very careful with her. The kitty cats had called their friends over to their house to see their new pet. I think that it's beautiful. She's really, really good at swimming. <laughs> Do you think that I could feed her and take her for a walk? Me too, guys. Me too. Hurrah! Boris, you've had long enough. It's my turn. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, the fish is looking a bit sad. Maybe if I read her a book about sea creatures, she'll feel better. Here's an octopus, and this is a blue whale. All you'll do by reading that is make her feel homesick, Pudding. I'll make her feel better. <laughs> happy, happy, happy fish! Ah! Huh? Maybe she's hungry? Whoa! All gone! I know what's wrong. Remember, Mommy said the fish only eat a little bit. And we gave her an entire thing of food. Oh, that poor fishy. No wonder it's not happy. Imagine if someone threw that much food into your room, kittens. <laughs> oh, and this water needs changing. Water to a fish is the same thing as air is to us. Just imagine if all the air where you're living got filthy all of a sudden. <laughs> Ew, the air here smells just horrible. You're right. It really isn't fresh at all. I don't think the three of you are ready to take care of a pet yet. So I guess I'd better take the goldfish back to the store. No, Mommy, wait. Please give us another chance. I promise that we'll take care of the fish properly. We'll just give her a pinch of food, not too much. And change the water every day, promise. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it seems your fish is feeling much better. And this rainbow arch is for her bowl to keep her nice and happy all the time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! That's how the goldfish became part of the family, and how the kitty cats learned to take care of her properly. Uncle Muffin! One day, the kitty cats rampaged around all day long. <laughs> and when bedtime came, they did not want to go to sleep. I give up. I'm sorry, but I think it's time. You want me to call him? You sure? Mm -hmm. uh, hey, you know what, kittens? Guess who's coming over to see you tomorrow? Uncle Muffin! <gasps> to stay with you kids while Dad and I take care of some things. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, Uncle Muffin made a big entrance. <laughs> hey, what's up, baby oh, brother? <laughs> oh, great to see you. Oh, howdy, my niece and nephews. I haven't seen you for so long. Wow, look how big you are. I guess you don't remember me at all, right? But that's cool. After this day together, you will, yeah? <laughs> Go on, Mommy and Daddy. We're fine. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Muffin turned out to be lots and lots of fun. He played with the kitty cats just like he was one of them, not worried at all about being responsible. But wait! We need to clean the feathers up, guys! Cleaning up's boring. Instead, let's jump on the couch! Hey! <laughs> 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 We busted the couch. Uh, we should probably fix it. Yeah, or not. Let's play ball instead. Hey! Yeah, let's! Huh? <laughs> ah! oh! no. Uncle Muffin, we really need to hang the clock back up. Nah, I'd rather go jump in some puddles. <laughs> hey! Oh! <gasps> <laughs> Uncle Muffin is behaving really, really badly. Let's lock him outside, where he can't break any more stuff. Yeah, but what if he breaks down the door? Hey! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe if we sing him a lullaby, he'll fall asleep. Uncle Muffin, that's enough. Go to sleep, stop breaking stuff. 
but I love breaking, as in breaking out hot tunes. Naughty cat! Naughty cat! Yeah, your lullaby is not going to help us here. We should find some magical snooze candy. Oh, yeah. Is it all? Hmm. <laughs> Shame there's no such thing as magic sleep candy. Hey, <laughs> nephews and niece, don't give me a big huggy poo. <laughs> My goodness, really? Kind of like a group of kittens was behaving yesterday. Who? Oh, you're talking about the three of us, right? What? No way! I don't want to be like Uncle Muffin. Me neither. Not at all. I have a really good idea. The answer is to behave ourselves. Then we'll be nothing like Uncle Muffin is. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Seems like you have all learned your lesson. That's the reason I played my role. Hmm? Uncle Muffin's a talented actor. We invited him to show you exactly what misbehaving too much can look like. Of course, in real life, your Uncle Muffin isn't like that at all. I should say not. Really, I always listen to others, and I'm quite well-mannered. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Everyone pitched in to clean up the big mess Uncle Muffin had made in the house. And the kitty cats behaved beautifully, helping out and having fun. The Feathery Thief One day, the kitty cats were playing in their room as usual when they started to notice something odd. Shiny new whistle? Did you take it? I don't have it. Candy, my brand new whistle is gone. Just wait. First I have to look for my nice new hairpin. Nope. You didn't take it, right? My magnifying glass is gone. Candy, did you pick it up? Why would I want your magnifying glass? But my hairpin must have been taken by one of you. It, it wasn't, wasn't me. me. Well, I haven't seen your hairpin or magnifying glass, but I want my whistle. But who took my hairpin? Give me back my magnifying glass. Come on. All right. What is all this fighting? Now, which of you kitty cats can tell me where my other earring's gone? We, we didn't, didn't take it. it. That means there's a thief in our house. <laughs> if there really was a robber in the house, I'd have probably spotted him. Huh? What's going on? My jelly spoon was just right here. Where is it? <gasps> I got it. There's a thief in the house. We have to figure out just what the thief wants. But first, we have to figure out why he took the items he did. A spoon, an earring, magnifying glass, hairpin, and whistle. Well, he took a jelly spoon, so he must really like jelly. <laughs> of course, everyone likes jelly, so that's no help at all. They took one of my earrings. And my other hairpin. Which could mean that our thief is a girl, right? And maybe they took my magnifying glass because they can't see well. And she likes sports because she also took my referee whistle. All right, so Grandma is our robber? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, Grandma is a very clever lady. Hang on now. We can't accuse someone without evidence. What we should do is leave some bait for the thief, you know? What do all these things have in common? For one thing, they're all shiny. Daddy's car key is shiny, so they used it as bait. Everyone held their breath and waited to see who the thief was. Looks like the robber's a magpie, guys! Whoa! Don't let that bird fly away with my car keys! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Great, how am I ever going to get to work now? Hang on, dear. Don't panic. I have an idea where all our missing things are. Look at that. It's like a treasure chest in there. 
Seems like we weren't the only victims of this particular thief. The kitty cats called their neighbors, who came running when they heard the neighborhood robber had been caught. They had all lost shiny things. <laughs> Here's just our stuff left. Ready? Earring, dear. <laughs> Magnifying glass. Your hairpin. <laughs> Whistle. <laughs> My keys and spoon. Yay! So that's that. Let's head home. Oh. I feel bad for the bird. She really loves sparkly things, but she doesn't have any of them left. Hey, I've got an idea. How about we find some other really sparkly, shiny thing for the birdie? Then she'd have shiny stuff that was all hers, and nobody would try to take it away ever. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So the kitty cats left a nice shiny bottle cap for the magpie. And thanks to the feathery thief, they learned that you always need to figure out the facts of a case before you accuse someone, especially your grandma. Snow sculptures! One day, Painter Cat was holding a competition for the best snow sculpture. The winner of the competition will receive an entire box of yummy cookies. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Look at the camera, everyone. Smile, say mice. Mice! Here are your shovels. Now, imagine the snow is your clay. Just find your inspiration and scout away. Begin. <sighs> I'm going to make a big snow cat. I'm going to make an even better snow cat. So am I. Boris decided to make a snow cat too. And so did Dart and Cupcake. Um, I think the arms are usually made from sticks. And for buttons and eyes, you can use nuts. I didn't bring nuts. Dart, can I have some? And me, please. The nose can be made from a pine cone. Like this. Whoa! All right, let's take a look at these sculptures and see who's going to win these yummy cookies. Me, 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 me. Well, first we have to figure out which is the best sculpture. <laughs> but when Painter Cat saw the row of look-alike snow cats, he had no idea how to choose the best one. Meow, this is a bit tricky. My snow cat might be the whitest of them all. But they're all made of the same stuff, so they're all the same color. Let's see if we can find any other differences. <gasps> But just then, another heavy snow shower began, covering snow cats and kitty cats alike in a squishy white blanket. Mm. Whoa! There's snow all over everything, see? Hey, that hurt. Sorry, I really thought you were my snow cat. Oh! <laughs> well, if we're still going to have a sculpture contest, you kittens need to dig out your snow cats. Hmm. But digging snow cats out of the snow is hard. Hey, where's my snow sculpture? It was right here. My snow cat's in good shape. No, it's not. This is all that's left of mine. Oh, no. They're all ruined. <laughs> we should make our sculptures back at home, guys. That way the snow won't cover them up. But Cookie, at home they melt in no time. Then we should make them out of something else, like metal. Metal doesn't melt. Sure we could, but then they wouldn't be snow sculptures oh. anymore. They'd be like oh. robot things. Well then, uh, I don't know, but I think I'm really hungry. Hey, something just occurred to me. Pudding, look, your sculpture looks like a cake now, doesn't it? Huh? <laughs> That's right, it does. All you need is a little rose on top. Awesome! I'm going to shape my snow into a beautiful crown for a princess. I'm making a snow rocket ship. <laughs> I'll make a snow clown. Now every kitty cat was making their own special sculpture. Ha-ha! <laughs> Candy made Daddy, Mommy, Cookie, Pudding, and herself. Well, now the sculptures are so different and wonderful, it's even harder for me to pick the best one. Aww. 
But I do believe I have got the answer. Everyone deserves their own box of cookies for their awesome sculpture. Hooray! We won! I'm so proud of all my cookie winners. That's one of my recipes, by the way, everyone. Oh, I think that it's time for the local news to start. A snow sculpture contest was held today. Cookie, candy, pudding, Boris, dart, and cupcake were the winners. What a talented bunch of kittens. We're on TV! We're famous now! Everyone loved our sculptures! Turns out Daddy had the great idea to take his competition video to the news station. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! How wonderful that the kitty cats could share their sculptures with the whole town and their prize cookies with the whole family. Butterfly. One lovely day, the kitty cats were having lots of fun out on the playground. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this smudge looks like a ghost or something. Ooh. Uh, what is it that you're trying to capture, Pudding? Awesome butterflies I've never seen before in real life, so I can look at them for myself. The one I hope to catch is a rainbow butterfly, though. Her wings are a pretty rainbow color. That sounds just beautiful. I'd really love to see one of them. Well, actually, they don't live here. Rainbow butterflies are only found in tropical countries. The kitty cats returned home to find a surprise waiting for them. Guess what, kittens? Grandpa sent us a box of tropical fruit. Isn't that wonderful? Mmm, pineapple. Oh, little caterpillar! Look at her! She is a really big one! Can I keep her? Oh, Mommy, please. Oh, what if she becomes a big butterfly? I suppose. But please don't let it just crawl around the house. Caterpillars frighten me. I promise you, Mommy, I won't take my eyes off her. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Um, Pudding, are you certain this squirmy and gross caterpillar will really turn into a beautiful butterfly after a while? You bet she will, just as long as I take really good special care of her. Oh! <laughs> Once there was a butterfly. <laughs> Could you change the channel, please? Our favorite show is about to come on. You guys need to wait. Our caterpillar really loves watching this show about butterflies. This is getting kind of out of hand. What if that thing doesn't even turn into a butterfly? Yes, she will. Both of you just wait. I know you'll become the really, truly most beautiful butterfly in the world. Oh. Hooray! It finally happened. What? What happened? The caterpillar turned into a butterfly? Well, not quite yet, but soon she'll be. She's gone into a cocoon and she'll come back out of it as a butterfly. What if instead of a nice butterfly, some kind of ugly, creepy beetle comes out? Like a rhinoceros beetle or something. Huh? Oh. <laughs> or maybe instead an awesome battle come out. Oh. Ah. Or what if what comes out will be a lovely magical fairy? Ah. Oh. Oi. Hmm. Great, now I'm really nervous. Oh. No way, look at that! Huh? It's what I've been hoping for! A rainbow butterfly, you guys! Oh my goodness, it's beautiful! Come on, let's show Mommy and Daddy! What a pretty butterfly! Excellent work, kittens! Honestly, it wasn't us that did the work, it was Pudding! Yeah, he took really good care of the caterpillar. And now we just need to let her out of the jar so she can fly free with all of the other wonderful, pretty butterflies. Visit us sometime, Rainbow Butterfly, all right? I hope you'll be okay. Goodbye. 
darlings. So you'll always remember your dear Rainbow Butterfly friend. I got some special bows and ties. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So thanks to Pudding's great care, the Rainbow Butterfly can be found in tropical countries and in the kitty cat's yard. Daddy Daycare. One day, Mommy was getting ready to go and visit her friend. Daddy will be taking over for me today. So try to be good, all right? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What exactly does that mean? Dad taking over from Mom? Will he put on a pink dress and grow his hair all fluffy and curly? Huh? Oh. Hey! Oh! Ow! Ow! Hey! Oh! Ow! 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 No! 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 Or will he try to take all of Mommy's fitness classes at the gym? <laughs> None of that. What it means is that instead of Mommy taking care of us, it'll be Daddy. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Daddy, wake up! Hey! Here, Mommy, Daddy, all day long! Uh, yeah, all right. Come with Mommy, Daddy. Daddy made the kitty cats their favorite eclairs. That's so good. It's so much better than porridge. It's nice when Daddy fills up for Mommy. Uh huh. <laughs> Ah, and now let's watch TV for a while. Oh. As we enter the 38th hour of the Snow Geese Migration live stream. Um, Dad, don't you have some other things to do? Uh, wait, what? If you're really supposed to be doing what Mommy does, uh, then you should make lunch. And wash all the clothes. And then vacuum the entire house. Uh, does Mommy really do all that? Oh, wow. Okay, then. <laughs> the kitty cats turned on their favorite pirate show, while Daddy made pizza for lunch instead of Mommy, and put all the dirty laundry in the washing machine, and tried his best to vacuum the carpets. effects are great. You can practically smell smoke for real every time they fire their cannons. That's not the show. Something's on fire. Whoa, what's that about? The laundry room is filling up with bubbles, guys. Um, Mom? Wait, it's not Mom, it's Daddy! Daddy! Now what? Oh! Oh. There's something burning in the kitchen! Oh. And the laundry room's blowing bubbles! Oh, gosh! Stop! 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 Uh, uh, the pizza! Oh, hot, 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 hot! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dummy. With the cleaning and the washing, I let the pizza burn. Mom's chores are a whole lot harder to do than they look, huh? This will make Mommy so upset. <laughs> I have a really good idea. Since the chores are really hard, we should help Daddy with them. With the kitty cat's help, Daddy managed to get everything done properly. <sighs> Mommy, yeah, you're, you're back! back. <laughs> Meow, have you been watching TV this entire time? No, Mom. We helped Daddy clean all the dirty clothes. And vacuum stuff. And cook the yummy pie, too. Super Daddy, you not only kept the kittens entertained, but you did all of the housework? <laughs> oh, well, isn't that what you'd expect from an excellent Daddy like me? It was like Daddy had turned into Mommy. Everybody had to help me be mommy. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, I must have turned into your daddy, because he never comes home without something yummy with him. Strawberries, yay! So, so awesome! awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Daddy and the kitty cats had a fun day pretending to be mommy, but everyone was so happy when the whole family was together again.